Evening folks, um, ERA Fortress with a training cover on, and if I spin the curtain, put the pick wire in, okay, one of the first things um, a lot of people do when they first put the pick into the lock, uh, they apply a little bit of tension, so again you can see the um, the bolt stump is uh, engaging with the uh, uh, lever pack at the top here. I'm just pointing to it with the pen. Um, so we put a little bit of tension on, and then the first thing a lot of people will do is they'll pull the wire backwards and forwards to make sure they've got a clear run of all of the levers. Um, the fortress does like to uh, pinch the wire sometimes. So if we lift lever five, to roughly where it needs to be. I think it's there somewhere. If we then try and get underneath lever four, you can see that it's just snagging the wire and making free movement through this, uh, through the bottom of the levers, uh, a little tricky. Um, and that can cause problems when you try to navigate through the lock. If you've got two or three really low levers that are touching or sitting on the curtain, it can make life very difficult when it comes to picking and it can be very frustrating so how do you know where you are um, how do you know where the pick wire is in relation to the levers uh, well um, obviously with practice uh, you will almost instinctively know where you're going to be you can also feel as well so so for example if I'm underneath lever five if I pull the pick wire back uh, you can see that it hits against lever four, I can then twist, pull it back just a little bit, and then lift up lever four. Um, so the resistance that you feel when that, uh, when the wire is um, underneath lever five, uh, and you pull it back, that resistance tells you where the next lever is. So for example, here I can pull back onto lever number three, twist, pull out ever so gently, and then lift um, and again, there we go. So that lever is now in the right position. Pull back, you can see I'm up against lever two. So I can twist, pull back by the width of one lever, very, very gently, um, and then lift lever two. There's a little bit of snagging going on there. Lift lever two, that's dropped into the correct gate. And then finally lever one. There we go, up we go. Lever one, of course, is at the front, so it's easy to find it. A uh, little bit of tension there, there we go. So we've got lock. So you can navigate your way through the lever pack just by setting the levers and pulling back against the ones that aren't set and then moving underneath. Now, that jumped then, and the reason that jumped is because that lever four is touching the cursor and, or interfering with the wire. So sometimes if you've got several that are doing that, it makes life really difficult. So what can you do? Um, if you're learning and you're trying to work out how to uh, navigate your way underneath these levers. Um, what I do, or what I did when I was learning, let's just try and uh, zoom the camera out. There we go. I don't know if you can see on the, uh, on the handle here, I put a bit of tape, and I put a bit of tape on the pick wire as well. Um, and then with everything firmly inside the lock, what you can do is you can push the wire in as far as it goes to the back, Put a line on the pick wire and the and obviously the, uh, the tension handle here and then you can pull this out to lever one and then put another mark on there and then i don't know if you can see there you've now got a visual reference of where the where the back lever is and where the front lever is. There's five levers in this lock. So if we put a line between those two and then a further line between the, between the middle and the outside lines, we'll then know pretty uh, accurately where the bottom of the levers are gonna be. I'm just gonna draw those lines on. I'm gonna withdraw the pick. Let's put the lines on. One in the middle. There we go. So if we pop that back in, you can now see I've got five lines and I'm just going to extend the mark on the pick wire. 
And there's no shame in doing this because what you're doing is you're actually making your life easier when you're navigating underneath the bellies of these levers. Uh, and at any one time, let's just put everything back to where it was. So now you can see uh, when I'm on lever five at the back, the um, mark lines up. And then when I'm under lever one at the front there, the mark lines up. So if we move through those marks, so let's go for three, the third mark on there. Um, and you can see that inside the lock, I'm pretty much exactly underneath lever three. Uh, lever four, which was causing some problems and sticking. We're now, we can navigate our way backwards and forwards and just take a look at this scale and work out exactly where we are. And when we're finished, you can peel that off, throw it away. Uh, next lock, you can create it all over again because of course it's more than likely going to be in a different position depending on which lock you choose. So some people will pick the lock and will pull up against various levers within the lock to work out where they are. And then of course you can adopt a different technique. You can use a, a little, draw your own custom scale on the side of your pick. And, and there's, as I say, there's no shame in that at all. In fact, if anything, if you've got a really tricky lock where things keep bouncing around and you're having trouble navigating your way and knowing exactly which lever you're underneath, then, uh, then why not uh, make your life easier? Because a lot of the professional um, custom pick tools will have that scale on or some sort of click mechanism that always makes sure that the wire or the pin or whatever else it's going to pin and cam, whatever it's going to be, is, is located correctly. So um, this is really important because the next step on from opening locks is to work out uh, which levers need to be lifted uh, higher than others and then, uh, and then obviously lift them accordingly. And if you don't know which lever you're underneath, you might, you might be over lifting levers or, or under lifting. Um, and that's a subject for a different video, but it's always important to know where you are inside the lock. So uh, anyway, um, not trying to teach anyone to suck eggs here, but it's just uh, sometimes when, I, when I'm absolutely struggling and uh, I'm having trouble um, with levers that are sitting on the curtain and restricting the pick and you need to move backwards and forwards, yeah, I'll draw this scale on and, and make my life a whole lot easier. Okay guys, hope that helps. Cheers, bye for now. Thanks.